Hi there, I just thought I'd do a quick video to show you the basic differences between welding two shapes together or joining two shapes together as it's sometimes called in different programs or grouping shapes together. There is quite a difference and it depends how you're going to use your shapes as to which way you want to use them. Okay, so let's just go to um, Greetings Card Factory first of all. <clears throat> in our drawing tools I'm just going to draw a rectangle. Okay, that's a solid shape and um, it easily recognised. Oh dear, what else can I say about that? Not a lot. Let's go on to the next shape. I'm waffling here, aren't I? So let's choose a an oval and we'll draw an oval as well and that's solid black. What I think I wanted to say earlier was when I was waffling was that you can change as you know the colours of your shapes. You can also make your shape uh, transparent. Um, over here you've got your options here which are object or line. Here you've got all different ways to colour them in different gradients and here this one here is a transparent box. So if I click now my shape is going to become transparent. To enable me to see it properly, I'm going to click on line, click here to 2, um, and click on a colour. And now you can see I've got a circle uh, with a red line, quite useful on our cards. So if I now drag that over the top of my rectangle, I've now got two shapes, one sitting on the top of the other. Let's uh, make this black rectangle the same as the circle. So we're going to choose the object and choose transparent. Then with it still selected we'll go to line and we'll choose two and we'll colour that red as well. Okay, so now you've got the outlines of your two sh shapes instead of them being solid. Now. If you select both of these shapes by drawing an imaginary box around them, they are now together and you can move them over your page. Sometimes we forget that we have to select two shapes to move them, or if your page has got other designs on it, you might find it difficult to select the two you want. So we can group those together. And if you right click and press group and group again, now when we click away, whenever we click on any part of these two shapes, they're going to move together. I hope that's understood. Okay, um, but as you can see, we still have two distinctive outlines of the shapes. So they're not welded together, they're not joined together, um, they don't have a continuous outline. Alright, so let's, I'm just going to go uh, right clicking again, I'm going to ungroup these shapes. So they're both still selected. Uh, if you have trouble drawing an imaginary box around them like that and you've got nothing else on your page, just press Control on your keyboard, hold it down and press A at the same time and you've selected everything on your page and that will also then select both your shapes. Okay, so welding. What's the difference with welding? All right, what I'm going to do is just duplicate this and so you can see the difference side by side. So there's our first one, near as damn it, and here's the second one. So let's highlight, select, sorry, both of them, and come up here to Object, and you'll see the option to join. We want to have the Add button. All right, so you can see straight away what's happened. Both the shapes have been welded or joined. In other words, you have a continuous outline quite different from this one and it also means that you could carry on adding shapes to it. You could add a, a triangle um, and again watch out because you'll keep your parameters over here. So let's come down to line and two and red and we've got our um, triangle and I'm now just going to turn that round. Okay, Pop it on the top of that shape and I can then select these shapes and again object, join and add. And now you can see the shape here um, has been all joined together again. Alright, so that's in Greetings Card Factory. I hope that 
makes you understand um, the difference between grouping and joining and welding. Also you can do this with letters. You have to add your letters separately but you can join them together, you can group them together. Okay, thanks for watching.